Today we're at a pre-management limited. Now this is a training centre that recently took delivery of six brand new Colchester lathes. Mark, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, centre here and what you specialise in? Yes, well, we basically specialise in all different types of engineering apprenticeships. So all the people who come here are, are on an apprenticeship uh, in engineering. That's mechanical, electrical, electronic, our operations, maintenance. And our portfolio of courses uh, spans from level two foundation competence up to and including HNC level. And how many uh, apprentices would you accommodate here over, over the course of a year? Uh, well, we have a footfall of approximately 335 uh, learners coming through every week. Okay, and, and how does the funding side work? Um, I'm assuming a lot of these apprentices are working at, at companies locally, are they? Yeah, everybody who comes here basically is working for a member company of ours. So uh, they're ESFA funded through uh, the apprenticeship scheme. Okay, now you've got a, a new facility, haven't you, which um, we're going to look at today. What was the, the reason for this being built? This was to future proof us basically as we were expanding each year we've done controlled growth uh, and it justified us warranting a new building to accommodate our learners. And you've filled it up quite quickly. You've we got have. six new cultures to lathes. Um, walk me through how the procurement of that works almost down to everything from the funding through to why you selected them yeah well really colchester it was an easy choice for us to be honest with you i've worked with colchester lathes for oh, approximately 25 years now and uh, when it came to uh, actually getting that uh, centered out colchester uh, was the first choice by far barry what's your role here at the college uh, i'm a, an engineering tutor Okay, so what does that involve from a day-to-day -day perspective? Day-to-day -day basis, uh, some of it is uh, workshop-based, uh, delivering the program on the lathes and milling machines and hand fitting and maintenance techniques for with power. Uh, and then other days it can be all classroom and theory-based. Okay, now this department hasn't been here that long either, has it? No. Just explain when it when it was um, when it was erected and um, and the machines that you've got in here. Yeah. Well, the the the, uh, the building was built last year. It finished uh, about uh, September time, and then uh, the lathes were and the milling machines were installed, and then we got on program at the end of October. And I noticed that they're obviously Colchester machines. It's an iconic brand, uh, plenty of history. Is that just the only reason that you selected them? No, we've had uh, other machine tool manufacturers uh, in the past and we have had issues with machine breakdowns and the accuracy of their machines. Uh, the Colchester lathes, we've been uh, always been impressed with the quality of their, their machines and the accuracy that they can maintain. Um, as, an, as an instructor and a, a tutor here, do you still have fun in these environments in sending your apprentices off for long waits and sky hooks? Yes, we do. Yes, we, do. We, we, don't, we don't let, uh, miss an opportunity to have a bit of a laugh and a joke with them. What's the favourite one? Uh, send them for a bucket of compressed air or, or for a, a bubble for a spirit level. They're quite good ones. Or a long wait. Archie, how long have you been at this training centre? Um, this will be my third week. Okay, now what are you actually doing here on this Colchester machine? Uh, turning a, what will be a tool which we'll be able to keep and continue to use. And you, I see, I note here you're using like a four jaw chuck, so you're having to clock the bar into, into position. What's your positional accuracy that you're trying to get that bar within? One thou. Okay, and then what sort of cuts are you going to take? Take taper cuts as well as um, cutting a diameter. Is this what you'd class as the run, of the run of the mill things that you're doing here, what we see here, you know, smaller parts, lots of little intricate operations, but a lot of them are manual, aren't they? So you're really getting to grips with yeah. the touch and feel of uh, engineering. Yeah, it's not just the touch and feel of the machine itself, it's also the tool that we will be, the final product we will have made, will have used all of the techniques. Lillian, how long does it take to get to grips with a machine like this from Colchester? You know, in terms of all the handles that you've got, the, the feeds, the, the speeds, is it easy to learn? Yeah, it is quite easy to learn really. I've I've been here, this is my first year at this college and this is the first lathe that I've been operating and I've got to grips with it quite quickly really. Um, so what the company that you represent, what, what do they do? Uh, it's, uh, it's more servicing and um, maintenance of machines but if, if I learn how to use a machine I can tell what's wrong with it then. What's the most difficult things about 
becoming an engineer and learning something like this? Um, it's having the the like the will. There's long hours. There's all all the learning. It's, it's like going back to school again, really. Do you make many mistakes? Um, some, not very often, but some. Uh, what, what sort of tolerances are you trying to hit? on the parts that you're making? Because doesn't it, as your apprenticeship um, unfolds, you have to get tighter and tighter? Yeah, well, at the moment, I'm just trying to get to grips with the machine, so it'll be near, like, between 0.1 of a mil, and then hopefully I'll just get it bang on every time. And do you do, do you do everything from the changing of the chucks to the changing of the tools and the tool posts to the setting your own feeds and speeds? Is that all, is that all your responsibility when yeah, you're learning? Yeah, everything. Everything we have to change the chokes from three jar to four jar, all the tools from finishing to roughing, set all the speeds, work all the feeds out, and everything. And how was it to deal with Colchester Machine Tool Solutions when you were when you were purchasing these machines? When it comes to, to the finance side and the support, Colchester made it very easy for us. Basically, uh, the the purchase of them via a lease uh, was very 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 straightforward. Um, we're in one of your, your older workshops here, mm. which doesn't have any cultures to machines in yes. at the moment, but I believe you have it within your plans to, uh, to replace what you've got here. Absolutely, the long-term plans are to replace the machinery behind me with Colchester's.